should we do a round of distra uh, intentions and distractions to get this uh, kicked off? Um, I'll go first, if that's okay. Um, my intentions are for us to do a TEC sprint uh, checkpoint. Our first sprint, we're a, a weekend, it's exciting. <laughs> yes. Um, and uh, I, I threw on the agenda also just to talk about the manifesto. Um, I see there's nothing else on the agenda. So if you do have something you want us to discuss, maybe throw it in and we can prioritize it after this round. I will pass, oh, um, yeah, I will pass to uh, Septimus. Thank you, Tom. Uh, intentions for the call, yeah, we keep synchronized and we reach our first sprint with Ivy, the last call. And uh, yeah, just keep synchronized. I, I, wa I was also, we were also wanted, maybe it's better to share it on the next call, but we were, st maybe it's not the time, but I don't know. Uh, maybe when it's our turn, I I'll say what I have in mind. I'll pass it to Santi. Hello guys, intentions to keep seeing with all the work from the different groups and share my progress and distractions, except for the freezing cold that's here. And when I see people like uh, Levy on a nice summer <laughs> uh, dressing, I feel envy. <laughs> but besides that, everything's fine here. So I'll just pass it to Griff. Thank you. I'm distracted because I have to put groceries away and make some food, well, food, uh, and I am, n my intentions are just to check in, give any updates that need to be updated. I, I think the TE param stuff is really cool, and I hope that I get a chance to at least, like, view some of what we're working on there. And I'll pass it to Livia. Thanks. Um... I'm curious to see how our progress is going, so that's my intention. And I'm distracted because there is a construction site beside my mom's house, and then I took 10 minutes of in-between calls to go to a cafe that had no plug, and then I had to come back because I didn't have time to go somewhere else. So now I'm feeling like um, quite crazy, but I hope I can uh, focus. And I'll pass to Eduardo. Um, um, my intentions are to also sync with everyone. Um, I um, I tend to miss this call because I didn't have it on my calendar. Now I have it, so <laughs> I want to be more synced. Um, that's the first thing. And then distractions. Um, I have a hard stop in um seven thirty before I shop my pharmacy closes. So that's a hard stop for me. But besides that, I'm fine. I will pass it to Evie. Oh, my. Uh, my intention is to uh, uh, meet everyone uh, uh, finally and uh, what else? Um, and to know what's going on in different working groups. So those are my intentions. And uh, I have uh, zero distractions. And I pass it to uh, Jake. Oh, it worked. Hi. Um, distraction, no, intentions. Uh, yeah, I like these steward calls. Uh, I feel like this is when we get to just get a base on where everybody is and keep going forward. Uh, distractions, not really, because the kids went with their mom today uh, into town. So I'm like, woohoo! Uh, yeah, that's kind of nice. Um, so good. Uh, and I'm going to pass to Jessica. Hey, everybody. Um, intentions are, yeah, just to align with everybody and maybe share a little bit since I feel way more organized thanks to Tamara with the comms. And... The only distraction is I just ate a piece of chocolate and I am shitting it to the fire because I was getting chilly in the other room. So I will pass it to Zepti. Uh, I already went. I think Eduardo is the, or you already went as well. 
I don't know if it's all out of the last. Oh, I think everyone went, so I'll pass Everybody it. Everybody went. I'll pass it. Santi, Santi go. Go. No, Griff's doing groceries. Santi, did you go? Oh, yeah, Santi, you went. All right. Um, yeah, everyone went. Excellent. Okay, cool. So um, I guess first things first, um, if you haven't met Ivy, um, this is this is our, um, I don't know how to say it, behind the curtain magic maker. The, the person who's, uh, you know, quietly doing all of the work to make sure people get praised on Twitter and on um, the forums and is working with Griff on all the budgets and milestone payments and all of the, the uh, a lot of the administrative tasks and coordination tasks. Um, so please do say hi to her. Um, Ivy, is there anything that you would like to say to the group? Um, I'm just going to say that um, it's very fun to listen to your, to watch, to watch the videos because I've been watching the <laughs> Thursday call. So I think I pretty, uh, I know everyone already. So, but uh, yeah, this is a chance that I will um, introduce myself. So yeah, and I'm based in the Philippines. So it's kind of difficult for me to join the calls, but I give my best to uh, attend to the calls when I have to, and I feel like I can add value to this to the calls so yeah nice to meet you all cool i think i should also add that um uh ivy is un obligated to go to exactly zero calls <laughs> so um uh the calls that she wants to join she joins but really um i i would say she should probably not be in any of the calls it's, it's uh that she that she doesn't feel like she has to be in um yeah it's late there isn't it is it two o'clock in the morning yeah it's 2 a.m here yeah. but i took a nap before the call so i'm kind of in a good um condition at the moment i also took a nap before wow thanks <laughs> thanks so much for joining and it's nice to meet you and yeah please yeah. don't feel like you have to go to the super late call <laughs> Yeah, it's okay. Thanks. Okay, cool. So um, um, we are doing our first checkpoint for Sprint One. Yay. We are a week in. Um, at the end of the sprint, we do a um, retrospective. And that's where we, we all discuss as a team what went well, what didn't go so well, what we could do better. And then we actually will put together some action items based on what didn't go well so we can address them from the next sprint. So sprints are um, continuously, um, incrementally, incrementally being improved. Okay, so I think we should start with the, um, the blockers. Now, I noticed we don't have any blockers on our... Um, on our sprint board, but since we're also new to the sprint board, I wanna have an open call to see if anybody has any blockers that may not be on the board, but that they want to address with the whole team so we can crush them, blockers. Does any of the groups have a blocker they wanna raise? I, I wanna raise, and maybe Griff can give me a hand here, but uh, we've been reviewing the legal uh, terms document and creating it for the hash phase and we we've been using and we are using as a base document the ang uh proposal document uh i don't know i i have the feeling we are doing the job but we we have anya that's been doing an incredible job and also uh florence lawrence that uh, joins most of the calls but i don't think i already have the feeling we may not reach the goal for this sprint. I feel we are very behind. It's a it's a big document, and um, and we are we are not taking the amount of time that that we should do to be able to reach the sprint with that task with that issue. All right, we're really working on it, but it's a personal sense I have, and and Griff can give his opinion too. He's been on joining the calls and doing most of the work too with me, so I wouldn't 
call it a blocker, but uh, if we could get some help, yeah, we, we would speed up for sure. So uh, do you want to do more hack sessions? I mean, obviously we'll do our hack session tomorrow or, sorry, Friday, but then should we just try to put one in and invite people to help us hack on this legal document? Or maybe... I mean, I feel like that's been successful. I think there's, there's, a couple, there's a couple of things we could do. We could spend some more time and we could maybe split a little bit work, but we need people who knows how to deal with that type of document to, you know, to move forward because uh, people who is not used to these kind of, of uh, documents is not going to be able to, you know, add too much to it. So I don't know. I'm going to, I wanted to deal a little bit, give it some, some format, try to break it down into different parts and see if we can split it. Because I have the feeling that if we split it and distribute it to the two or the three or the four of us that can do most of the work, we might get things faster. It's just a personal feeling I have. We've been working on it for two sessions. Of course, Christmas break, you know, uh, broke the, the, the work, the flow a little bit. But uh, but looking at the document and the amount of, of information that, that that has, I don't know, I already have the sense we are far behind. It's just a feeling I have, Griff. I, I know there's still some time and we still have some time, but uh, but I don't know. I, for the issues that I'm working on, I have the feeling that that one is really far behind. I would agree. I think it's a lot of work, um, and I think we just need to put in the hours. I, I think a lot of it, I mean, if we can get it to the point where we think it's good, and then we just have Anya review it with without it saying Aragon anywhere, without it, you know, with the pieces replaced, then I think we would succeed. But, yeah, I, I don't think uh, I don't think we're there yet. So, I mean, we could have, if I, Ivy says, I think you have a little bit more space and time, right? Yep. Ivy, yes. In a, previous, in a previous job was a content editor, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. So. Mm -hmm. So I think she could help Santi, and maybe if you guys did some hack sessions together and I could join as well, um, I think we could kick out a lot of this document. And then just yep. have Anya review it when it's ready for her to review, as opposed to like, oh, this is all about Aragon, you know? And I, I know for me... Okay, maybe, like, maybe I can have... There's a section of the paper that I really need to write, or I think it'd be fastest if I think I could write it twice as fast as most people so uh, I, but I need I need to be scheduled otherwise I, I won't do it <laughs> so, okay let's so. let's let's do this maybe I can maybe I can have a meeting with Ivy uh, show her the, the type of work we've, we've been doing see where she can help uh, you know working on the document not not diving into this the sense of the document but just the wording switching aragon by tc the words you know the things that that can be done without getting into the understanding of the document and on friday when we have anya and maybe marina joins this week also we can try to split the work and and, and organize better uh, yeah sure uh, just um let me know when you want to uh, have the uh, call to uh, orient me on this uh, work, and yeah, and if if you could also share with me the document before the call, so I can already take a look on and have mm -hmm. a you know have an idea on what it's what it looks like. Okay, good. I, I'll send you the links, and we can if you have some time tomorrow, my morning, which is going to be probably your afternoon. Uh, we can have a session tomorrow, and I can go over the document with you, tell you what we've done and what would be helpful for us. Okay. okay. Santi, is there? I'm, I'm looking for the issue so I could find the document. Um, is there? Uh, is it this issue, uh, 244, or it's a different issue? 
Yes, it's, uh, let me check. Let me see the, the word. Legal TNC. Legal TNC. Terms and conditions. Yeah, no, it's 244. Not... I think it's 244. Oh. Is it is it is there any reason not to put the document in here or is there anything um, No, I have to add it. I, I I have to add it. I have to add it. I will put it there. It's in the agenda of the legal working group. I'll just grab the link and put it there. Got it. That would be great. Cool. Okay. Awesome. Um any other steward who wants to bring up a blocker in their group that we need to address as a team before we do anything else? I'm not sure if it's considered a blocker, but more of a dependency, I guess, is some of the comps pieces are awaiting like common stack things to finish. I think, I don't know if that's reflected in GitHub, I can check. But. Okay, and you mean the content production pieces that's in the Miro board and has the lines? So specifically? Anything related to how to become a hatcher or becoming a hatcher, basically. So to be like um, the onboarding section in the forum is blank where it says becoming a hatcher. And Santi and I were talking about a piece like how to prep to become a hatcher. So any of the become a hatcher related content is kind of like we were waiting to push that until the, the CSAC token, token DAP is finished. Yeah, that makes Maybe. sense. Yeah. I don't know if it's reflected on the board. Is why I'm bringing it up. Yeah. Um, it may not be, but it is something you can either add in the uh, notes, or uh, you know, as a uh, the dependencies, or in the issue itself. If there, um, if there may not be. Is there is there a particular issue this sprint, Jess, that is blocked by that? So I know that we we did talk about it being um, the sequential order making sense for the the app to launch for us to use it for us to write about it and then for the the TEC communications to go out. Is there anything uh, in this sprint that's blocking that's blocked by that? Specific enough. I guess I just wanted to get some feedback and maybe with Santi and Griff about we had discussed like so this legal vote passed. Do we want to write a post vote content piece on this vote passed? The TEC is choosing to use the common stack association and blah, 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 blah. Or do we want to wait on that piece until we can actually put to have a call to action to like push people to the DAP was my question. Or it doesn't go in the sprint or do we wait on that piece to push it? We could write around it and just do a post. I mean, I just don't see a post vote piece being important until we have something for people to do. So. Yeah, maybe maybe it just goes into the weekly the this the impact hours side. It's like a small paragraph instead of a full post. Cool, and then we'll do a post later, I guess, to push people. So thank you. That was my main thing. Was like, how do I? How do we want to break that up? That was what I was thinking. Okay, cool, cool. And also, just in terms of flow, if there is something in this sprint that's blocked, um, drag it to block so that we can start looking at it right away. So I don't know if um, I don't know what's in comms. I don't know that you have anything in here that's blocked by that right now. The, they, we might have already dragged them out of the sprint because we knew that the the DAP wasn't going to be launched. But th thanks for raising that. Um, anybody else have a blocker we want to raise? or something that they want um, the all the students to review. And then we'll do uh, updates from each working group. I think all the stewards are, or most of the stewards are involved in the code of conduct. So we're having uh, hack sessions. To, we had one today and we're having one tomorrow and another one Friday at 3 p.m. CET. So it would be cool if until then, until then, even if people can't come in these times, that we separate a moment to look into the code of conduct this week. Who do you need to be there, uh, Livia? As many people as, as can. It's more like an office hour, you know, if people like to work together. 
today Jake and um, and Juan came and it was great. We did some progress. But then if people can come and if they, uh, right now I think is Zap, uh, Santi, Griff, uh, Eduardo, me, uh, Juan, Nate, and Mateo that are involved in collaborating with it. So just if people feel the calling and if you're not collaborating with it already, but you want to help us polish and add thoughts, ideas, we're following a very simple structure um, that everyone can help. Cool. Uh, I guess I want to raise a question because it just got me thinking of something. Does it, would it make sense for us to add these kinds of hacking sessions to the TEC calendar? Um, cause I know that you were having them, but I, I don't, I didn't know when, um, and if it was on my calendar and I was free, I would probably jump on that call. I did that. So, okay. So that's oh. not showing up to anyone else cause it's on my calendar and it's appearing red and I don't know what I did wrong. Yeah. Cause I don't, I don't have it either. You brought that up and I, yeah, I don't have it either. Oh no. Okay, um, I'll try to fix that. Cool. Okay, good point. Um, anything else for review for everyone on the team and or for, okay. I just wanna share something. Um, I added, a, there's an issue for me to do the guidelines for Zen Hub and I'm starting to put it together. Um, it's gonna be just a super primer. Um, what and really our goal is like who does what by when like that's what the issue should say who does what by when and by when means is it on our sprint or not on our sprint um so um i'm starting to i'm just starting to work on this i'll take just one minute to review it now because these things are really the um sort of foundational and it's really you know the difference between an issue and an epic and if there's a question about whether it should be an issue and an epic um you know, the guidelines are quite simple. You know, an issue is just one discrete piece of work that can be implemented in a sprint. And one issue is assigned to one person. And um, that way that person can close the issue when they're done with it and um, is able to, you know, manage their their own workflow inside, um, inside a, a shared space. The person is sort of resp is responsible for managing that piece of work. And um, they may want to use advice process to get feedback from the rest of the team where needed. But really, it's saying, um, I'm assigned to this. I'm going to complete this. This is the task that I will complete this sprint. So one person means it'll get done. If we have multiple people assigned to a sprint, then who's doing what gets a little bit blurry. Uh, and it's, it's not as easy for us, to, for us to have clear visibility on what's happening. And then in Epic is I have this uh, a, I have this you know piece of work and there are all of these moving pieces um, you know for for the for the for the website there might be somebody doing the back end somebody doing content somebody doing the front end and all of those pieces have the, share the theme of uh, a larger piece of work so if you have multiple issues that make sense under a shared theme then that should go under an Epic. The life is of an issue is essentially a new issue is created, and then um, it goes into a product backlog. Uh, the product backlog is prioritized um, against every other issue in that backlog. And then during our sprint planning, we take the issues that are have the highest priority and move them into the sprint. Um, then after they're in the sprint, uh, but then we assign it to the sprint. Uh, our next sprint planning session will be Friday the 22nd and we'll do our sprint planning for sprint two. Um, and then as people are completing the, or are working on these issues that we've all committed to as a team, you move them to in progress. So if we look at the board, we can see right now every, all of the pieces of, of the work that are in the sprint backlog that will get completed this sprint. And we see what we're working on now, you know. Um, if you want, you can also go and look to see what's closed, but um, I never really look at that, except when it's time to do our giveth milestones. Then I go look at what I closed. <laughs> um, as it's in progress, um, means I'm working on it now. It's not done yet, but I'm actively on it. Help is blocked. I need help. 
I can't do this. It's not getting done this sprint, as Santi said, because we don't have the momentum to complete it by the sprint. Um, we need intervention. And then review and QA. So fine, we don't need this too often, but there may be things that we want the whole team to review. In every uh, steward's call, we'll do the blocked pipeline, we'll do the review pipeline, and then we'll do our updates. And then when it's closed, it's closed. So that's sort of the life of an issue. It's pretty simple. Communication is also, um, I'm going to, I think it's better if I show it to you here, right? Um, gosh. Um, inside issues, when we write to each other inside an issue, um, if you use ampersand and somebody else's name, you will find that, um, here we go. Oh, sorry, I'm in the wrong thing. Um, if you go to github.com slash notifications, um, everything you are mentioned in will be in this um, filter. And you can go to everything that you've been mentioned in and reply to keep the communication flowing on that issue. So the person who's working on it doesn't get blocked if they need you. So, um, you know, Jess may, Jess will ask something and then we can respond and then we can, you know, she can continue the work that she needs to do in this or I can continue the work that I need this, that I need to do if I'm writing to you. Um, and so how to, so how to, for us to communicate to each other inside these and where you can find um, where you can find everything that's been a, that you've been mentioned in are pretty pretty useful in terms of a team communication, and that's kind of it. I'm building this this guidelines. Please do reach out if you uh, have suggestions for how I can improve it. I just got started this week, um, really this morning, <laughs> so uh, that was just the quick quick view of the draft. All right, shall we do our um, shall we do group updates? Um, um, I'm going to go with comms. Jess, would you like to kick off the group up updates? Uh, sure. Do you want me to show my board that I've got open? Yeah, sure. I'm going to uh, stop streaming okay. so you can. Okay. It should be pretty quick, actually. Um, okay. So you just want this sprint, right? Um, yeah. Okay, um, so yeah, I just took some time to further organize the board. So I put like uh, my main epics over here, kind of in priority almost. Uh, so yeah, and right now, Anne and Craig are working on getting the CRM up so we can send mass emails. I'm working on two content pieces, um, the TEC kind of why as an update to our kickoff article and had a great meeting yesterday um, with actually the common stack team and it involves them because we're trying to separate the narrative of the common stack and have the TEC kind of find its own voice. So we identified like some um, language and things that are helping helping to get more clear about uh, where we're speaking from, from the TEC and, and refining our mission into a story. And then um, we have the news blog we'll be working on on um, this Friday. And then I've also uh, started to go into the video concept for, we have an onboarding video for the Hatch app that we'll need to produce. So um, I'm going to have a meeting with uh, Marco and Sam to just get that storyboard complete so that I can start working on that. And then I'm working on an article with Livia um, about governance. Uh, so that is something I'm really excited about. And then, yeah, in the the main projects we're working on, the main epics are finishing the TEC website and the branding, which has been a work in progress. The TEC kind of stories are narrative with a few deliverables on that. And then the onboarding video and then hatch and onboarding comms um, in addition to like keeping up with our basic um, platforms and helping to promote certain events, which I'm stepping back from a little bit, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And I, I'm just looking for someone to own the discord migration. And I had a great, I had a great call with Marco this morning. Marco is coming on to the comms team to help me to do like PM coordination and um, get the roadmap like more kind of tight. Cause I basically got through this sprint, but we also could stand to like 
pull out some more issues for developing on the comms roadmap all the way to the hatch. So Marco is going to support me with that so that I can focus on writing and the narrative. Um, so yeah, pretty good news. Everything's feeling really more clear and organized. And thanks again, Tamara. I spent a lot of time with me last week to pull these epics into like deliverable issues that are like bite-sized pieces that we can actually get finished. So anybody have any questions or anything that comms can support with your working groups that has not already been discussed or started? Then I'll pass back to you, Tam. Cool, that was excellent. Okay, um, welcome, Marco. Glad you joined us. Um, I would say, Jake, would you like to uh, update the stewards on TEC params? Oh, okay. Is that working? Is this working? Can you see my stream? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Great. Wow. Finally. Okay. So, um, sprint backlog. Uh, this organization of forum posts and category. That's kind of new. That's 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 fine. Of course, this spec is a big deal. Um, working towards that. I got things going on. Um, me and Griff are making ground. Um, that's. What is what, what's the end date on this sprint again? Uh, the twenty first of January. The twenty first. Yeah, we're not going to have that done in a week. Um, we're not going to make that. So I guess that's a block. We're not. We're not going to. I don't think we're going to make that in a week. Um, the other two, yeah. I, I might be able to might be able to work out some of these things, but we're also dependent on someone else, and they have a real they have a regular job. Um, we are meeting with YGG again today. Um, we're going to make some headway, but I would say, I mean, unless Griff, we would have to really put a lot of hours in, um, and I I mean, in the next within the next week, in order to be able to get I, that spec out. I don't think I, we're going to. I, I think I would agree. I would love. Can we schedule something for the weekend? to uh, have like a three, four hour hackathon yeah, on this I, and I, was I, don't gonna, I don't know that it's something that we need a lot of people in. I think it could just be you and me. Well, just I was going to ask, I was going to ask YGG today at our call if, yeah, he was, he if there was an, if he could jump in on another weekend sesh. This was, that is exactly what I was going to ask and hope that we could maybe get this done on Sunday. Yeah. Um, Otherwise, it like like it's kind of like the legal thing. We uh, it, it's just putting the hours in and getting everybody lined up, and then we can get it done. So uh, we can give it a go, and maybe maybe we can hack it out and have it. I, um, I, I I don't think we can have it completely done, but we should be able to. I think that we can if we find the right template and we put in you know four hours on it. I think we can get it done to the point where we can pass it to Sam for him to confirm our guesses. Yeah, so it, I mean, we can definitely give it a run on Sunday. I'm sure, I'm confident we can get really far. We have a lot of resources, and it's really just us putting our heads down and getting it. Um, it's just a lot to write out, but we'll be good. So maybe maybe it's not a block. Maybe we'll be fine. I guess I'll let you know on Monday morning where we're at. Uh, other than that, uh, other than that, I'm good on tech params. I got a lot of other stuff going on, but it's not it's not in a sprint backlog. I got plenty of time for everything else. Yeah, I, I just want to. I just because everyone is here, I want to give a chance to revi review the the path that we're taking for tech programs, and because I think it's so fucking cool. Uh, the your economy, your choice. We're 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 going to we we had a call with YGG, and we're talking about basically making it so you can fork our spec, change a couple numbers, and then you'll have all these graphs that show you what the hatch will will happen. All of these simulations, like very basic, but simulations of like, okay, what happens if we hit the min goal for this project? What happens if we hit the their stated goal? What happens if we hit the, you know, if we raise a million dollars, what will happen, right? And all of these sim simulations, as well as just auto text that says, you know, uh, you know, if, if the, like, for instance, if the support required is 66%, then, if 34% of the people vote 
no on a proposal of the people who vote vote no on a proposal it will not pass like just little definitions all the way through and it'll be super easy for people to fork that change the three numbers and basically have their own mini white paper so it's and then those will all be like then they can make an issue in a specific repo that'll be a new one in github and that will then be used by wesley and token log and then we'll have a voting system set up for people on top of then those models. So everything will be really automated and visual and clear and right there. And it'll happen real quick. So people can see different proposals, you know, and different ideas and parameters, and then they can vote on it right away too. So we can really get that proposal model just going. The only thing that's blocking, and I think it's in here, and I think it'll be done this thing is just the uh like um propose the voting strategy for the hatch will not be done this sprint that that's for sure because we're still blocked by figure out the feasibility of the token log so uh we're kind of waiting on wesley and as jake said he's got oh job. yeah and that too plus we well, there's an issue out there um I, the number off the top of my head i think it's 311 um but uh we're looking out to the community too. So anybody wants to know anybody, um, we need some contributors or devs and um, React and uh, TypeScript oh, um, yeah. to help Wesley um, because he's got to be able to have multiple tokens. And that wasn't something he had planned for. He totally thinks it's doable, but it's a project. So that's another reason why that, like Griff just said, that's, yeah, we're not going to make that because we have the feasibility of all of this. I totally forgot about that, Jake. Thank you for reminding me. Jake, actually, can you can you post that in CSD Dev? Can I put that on you? That issue and and just like um, see if anyone's around. Oh yeah, in the in the Telegram. Yeah, there's a CSD Dev Telegram. Yeah, I'm in it. I'm in it. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, absolutely. I bet we'll find someone in a day. Okay, I think that's it. Excellent. Thanks, Jake. Thanks, Griff. Um, Eduardo, would you like to give the group a um, update on onboarding? Yeah, I will be quick because I have a hard stop uh, and I passed 10 minutes to hard stop. But um, yeah, I won't show my screen at the moment because there are like um, four. If you can show it, Ham, you will do a great me favor. Um, Please. So in the Spring Backlog, we have a few issues. Uh, we have the add disclaimer um, to the proposal template that we talked with Jessica uh, about doing it, which is a very simple task. Uh, get 10 great proposals posted on the forum. We are uh, eight, so or seven. We are two or three shirts. So we probably will make it before, um, before the Spring. So that's, that's a good one. Um, we also have two two um, issues that, that are sort of the same, which is onboarding hatchers and onboarding hatchers spring one. Uh, one is with the other one, and basically onboarding hatchers spring one. I don't I don't recall how many people we mentioned that were needed for the first sprint. Um, but yeah, we are in that process. So um, I think it was twenty. The number we mentioned, if I'm not wrong, I have to add it to the issue so we keep track of that because otherwise we won't have any way to track it. Uh, Griff, yeah, do you so happen to remember that number? I don't. I don't think I. I don't remember where we capture that. What is I, it? What was our no goal? Idea. Twenty sounds yeah. great. Why not? <laughs> so there will be twenty. Um, we are um, halfway there. We are twelve people short um sort of so i hope to as i mentioned in the previous call to press an accelerator to this process to so at reach at least reach uh 15 hatchers hopefully with soft commitments on that on that end um and then we have another one called um 30 minutes weekly onboarding sessions which is done by Libby. i don't i don't remember this issue so i don't know uh, what does that mean one what does that one mean?
and that's more related to uh, onboarding new people, not onboarding hatchers necessarily, just like keeping the community alive. Perfect. Um, I think we are also missing here. Uh, I don't know if it's in your, you can help me with this, um, Libby, if it is in your sprint, the um, the conversation about the code of conduct. I don't know if it's for the sprint or the other one, but there is missing out also um, here. So, um, yeah, Livia, this is actually, this is yours, even though it's the onboarding working. Okay. So, Livia, so Eduardo, the... it's, it's in the onboard. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm with Eduardo. It's on the, no, it's no. in the onboarding working group, but it's assigned to Livia. So Livia will be managing that one. Yeah. Um, so the, um, the code of conduct, do you have it for this sprint, Livy, or for the next one? Oh, the, the, the part of the code of conduct that we're working together? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we can do it for this sprint. It's like pretty much it's halfway. Perfect. So that will be the only issue to be added. I can add it later on um, for this sprint. The code of conduct for what, Eduardo? For, I mean, I know the code. Yeah. Sorry, he's helping me with the forum, uh, forum proposals code of conduct. So we have Got that uh, going already. Got it. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. There is no issue for it, at least as far as I know. That's why I was mentioning it for this. There is. I will just assign you to it. Don't need to create it. Thank you so much. Cool. Uh, thanks, Eduardo. Um, I guess, are there no proposals in progress this week? Um, I have a few calls, but, and, and as, we, as we mentioned in the last call, we will try to get some. So what we'll probably do is that as, once we get them, uh, we can create the issues or so on. I don't know, because we have the academy and so on. So I don't know uh, how we will flow with that. There I, are th I have three in progress, but for me, I really was not wanting to make issues for all of them because I'm tracking on Curate, and it's just, if you want me to put them there, I will. I just, yeah, I can put them there yeah. if you want. Yeah, I mean, it's, if we look at um, all of the onboarding proposals, and this one might, this one might be the right one. Here's where we can just see every single onboarding proposal and where it is. So these are, um, wait, not in this workspace. Sorry, I'm looking at the wrong epic. Give me one minute, let me go back. Uh, but this one, I should change that epic so we don't get, oops, same one. So, um, yeah, this is the one. So the great thing about epics is that we can see where all the proposals are in one glance. We see which ones are new, which means they haven't been started yet. And we see which ones are, um, basically the product backlog could be, it's in that curate and it's assigned to somebody, which means somebody's gonna soft touch this, whether it's the sprint or not. And then everything that's in our sprint backlog and that's been closed. Um, and it's, um, yeah. I think that makes it very clear to everybody. And as you are, as we're progressing with those, we can see, for example, as you mentioned earlier, or maybe in the last call, in the onboarding call, uh, due to a, um, a personal conflict, uh, um, the TEC kitchen will not happen this week. So we can we can just uh, update everyone without everyone having to attend the onboarding call to know that that proposal is blocked. That way it's visible to everybody. Right now, the only information um, that we get from um, onboarding, unless it's on the board, is having to be in that call. Does that make sense? Yeah, what about, this is uh, just a proposal. What about if we um, create the issue after we onboard someone, rather than previously onboarding someone? Are we talking, we're talking about proposals. 
Yes. Um, is previous mean the proposal is submitted? Yeah, to create the issue after this, the proposal is submitted. But then it's a closed issue, the work is done. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> I know it sounds redundant, uh, but I'm <laughs> I'm seeing your face, so it's really funny. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I know it sounds redundant, but I'm just thinking yeah. in, um, because there are issues or there are, there are ones that, for example, that has taken way more time than it was expected. Um, yeah. So I'm mean, just like well, thinking. Well, so if we look at, again, the here, you know, the sort of the life of an issue, right? It's okay that it goes into the sprint backlog. And for this is a great case and use case, actually. So Token, token Kitchen was submitted for, uh, was, I mean, sorry, was um, selected for the sprint and life happens. So something happened, uh, you know, a personal misfortune or personal tragedy. And so that is, that uh, proposal is not going to happen this week. It's blocked and it goes back into the product backlog at the end of the sprint. And we reprioritize it against everything else and then select it to bring into a net, another sprint. Right. So the uh -huh. idea is actually, for everyone to see the work that's in progress. So we'll see which are the proposals that are in the backlog that are in progress and that are closed. And you can see everything nicely inside the one epic, which is all of which is the container for all of the onboarding proposals. All right. Okay. Um that will be all for my um section. I have you to know, just... leave. Yeah, sorry, yeah. Jessica. Yeah. Uh, oh no! So I was just gonna say I just uh, Token Kitchen and Tea Academy are already up. I'm updating them now, and I just added one for Leap DAO. And yeah, I only heard right before the on meeting. And anytime there's a cancellation or change, I always go to the stewards group. Is where we had said we are kind of coordinating the presentations. I had it sorted for the whole month, and then had this last minute thing. So I brought it up in onboarding because that was the first call I was on. But I also, if there's ever any issue with the presentations, we'll update in stewards telegram right when I find out and then update the GitHub issue secondarily to communicating like verbally or like via message. And um, yeah, I'll update it all in GitHub right now. But all of now, all of my proposals that are in progress are being updated. So thank you. It, it should be sorted now. I, I want to. I, I maybe we should stop using the spreadsheet and I'll only do the the uh, whatever this is Zenhub. If it's that, because I feel like the Zenhub has more value where we can keep notes and a little bit better organized than the spreadsheet. It's really nice to have uh, have this in case somebody's like, oh, you know who should propose this person, you know, and then it's like, oh yeah, we already asked them. They said no. It's there, you know. They can search the issues. It's I don't know. Yeah, I had this. I had this comment on the last call regarding this to have um, on the epic an updated list uh, or just a comment with the ones that has been done and the ones that has been like where is the progress on this one and so on to have a centralized kind of information that what that is what the sheets works for now um to have a central place where we can have an update and stuff but since we are doing double work of doing an issue and also updating the the spreadsheet it's 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 it gets messy at least for me so that's why i was like i will try probably this week to organize this i will take the on this task to organize it to see how it could work better probably in issues and try to not work on the sheets anymore uh and see if how how it affects our workflow and if it's doable the only thing is then making sure that the GitHub issues, and I don't know if we want to put this on GitHub, is like the co point of contact and like some of these other parts of that spreadsheet are really important. And I also wanted to talk to Dan in general about tracking our DAO to DAO um, like discussions or relationships. Hopefully this can all move to the CRM, like the deep details of like who's the contact and this kind of stuff. And yeah, how that's going to flow with GitHub. For me, there's like a separate issue that is not GitHub, which is like relationship management for our DAO to DAO relations. 
So I don't think GitHub can fully handle that. But that's a different thing. It's like somewhat connected in that this information I don't want to get lost, especially like the points of contact and all this, so that we can document that. Um, um, yeah, that's a that's a deeper layer of the of that option because in your layer in, for onboarding working group, we only need probably to keep track of when we propose someone and we has someone. But for the following up that you do in the comms, you do need that information. So probably for you, the spreadsheet is useful. But on my like on probably on for us, it's it's way more complex than what, for what we needed. So yeah, it, it depends on how it affects us. So yeah. I have to go. So um, if I'm missing anything, Tom, okay. can please pick me up. Before you go, Eduardo, will yeah. you? Um, I'd like to. Work, I'd like to work with you on on that. Um, on sort of making sense or sense making from what uh, we pull out of the spreadsheet into GitHub, and making sure, as Jess said, a lot of the pieces that are in here don't get lost. Can you uh, yeah. loop me into that, please? Okay. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Eduardo. Thank, Thank you. Thanks, Eduardo. You're on. Bye bye. Okay, uh, we have uh, seven minutes left, um, and we have Zep, Livia, and Santi, um, and Juan Carlos, who is not joining. Uh, may I ask um, Livia, Santi, and Zep if uh, either of you three have um, urgent updates to share, and we can perhaps prioritize the last three? I've moved to a uh, work in progress, a uh, couple of issues. Uh, I don't feel, besides the one that I shared with you guys earlier, I don't feel I have any other any other blockers or problems or, or anything, and that's not going to be able to be done on the sprint. Okay, thanks, Santi. Livia, uh, will, would you like to go next? Yeah, me too, actually. I What I wanted to share most was about the code of conduct, and then I also moved my issues to in progress. Nice. OK. Um, Zep, would you like to yeah. share transparency working? Uh, for our spring goals, we already make it. Like We have a, we established a system with Ivy, and she did an amazing spreadsheet to, yeah, to, to head the the new volunteers to join us if they want and would love to present that tomorrow so we could get uh, some engaged in the community. We also are changing the, the schedule of the calls uh, on Mondays, 2 p.m. if I'm not wrong, maybe Ivy can confirm it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, I already moved it in the calendar. I rescheduled it to uh, Mondays uh, at 2 p.m. So it's there. Awesome, thank you. And, and yeah, the, the next point, uh, uh, I, I, I don't know, Jake was a uh, price for the like the future of transparency and that bring me an idea to move uh, another scope. And then on the last meeting with uh, Grief, Sam, Ivy and I, we, we were discussing to to make uh, like uh, an audit and we could use the, the forum post that Libby created for each working group. Uh, I mean, right now it's a vague idea and we would uh, love to uh, share that with the community and make a, a forum post and a vote for that idea, like to make uh, an audit for every working group and we think that would be a cool idea but yeah we, we really would love to have more quorum because uh, i think transparency should be made by the by everyone and not by two or three people yeah that's all great thanks for that uh we have four minutes to the top of the hour um so if anyone would like to share anything uh before the stewards close the session until next week. Now is the time. Otherwise, we can all take these four minutes to go do whatever we need to do before our next call. I just want to say I Cheers. love the transparency audit idea. I've never seen a, a DAO group do that. So I think that will be very inspiring to the DAO community. Um, so great work there. And great work, guys.
Hey, Evie. Thanks, Tamara. You can go to bed. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> thanks for for very welcoming. Yeah, thank you so much for coming, Ivy. <laughs> thank you, you Ivy. I sent I sent you a DM uh, so you can oh, try yeah. to catch me tomorrow, and I I send you those documents and the link so you can take a look, and we can talk tomorrow. Okay, I'll check it out. I'll check it out. Perfect. Bye, guys. Can I say something Bye. super quick? Everybody. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, too late. Oh, Bye, guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here, what's that? No, I just, want, too late. I just wanted to say that if anyone has proposals, so Zap, like you, you brought this up, uh, just a simple request that we work together just in this uh, transition to the new proposal system so we can get it very sturdy and then soon it's going to be like walking a bicycle. Yeah, we also were say, uh, talking like we should meet with you and coordinate. And also another idea was like when we have that transparency going on, uh, the, the most interesting thing is like, for example, we were like having like green transparency, yellow transparency or red transparency, for example. But it would be nice, like, for example, if SoftGov have yellow transparency, uh, you, you could uh, say, hey, Seb, what, what, where should we work on to get green? And then we do a meeting and then we work on it together. We should have like a a checklist and if all the checkpoints are are done so it's green and some missing uh, it should be yellow and i don't know if for example three are missing red something like that i mean it's very a vague idea and we should work on that but uh, I, I, we would uh, love to work with the tools we already have and i think the forum post on the um, that, that you created uh, for each working group and have everything in there i think that that's that would be a good starting point Love it. Let's do awesome. that. That's would awesome. This count, would this count towards like Ostrom's monitoring? Just yeah. to have like another reason to develop that or like share that learning or that could be cool to include that as like a practice or a, a system. Awesome. Yeah, for sure. That is a mutual accountability practice. Nice. Okay, thanks for listening, okay. guys. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you.